My name is Thomas. At the Last Supper, I was the first person to say that I would die for Jesus. And I was also the first one to run for the hills doing 90 when the Romans actually came and arrested him. And then when Jesus resurrected himself, I was the one who said, I wouldn't believe he was who he said he was unless I could see with my own eyes the holes in his hands and examine them. As if I was some qualified medical examiner like Quincy or something. But the thing of it was, Jesus showed them to me. And more than that, he let me touch them in a ministry based entirely on the virtues of faith. He gave me proof. I had no proof and he gave it to me for free. I don't know why I got help with my disbelief and Judas didn't get any help with his. Anyway. Some people say Judas did what he did because he was greedy. Personally, I think that's bullshit. The guy wasn't wandering the desert for three years with Jesus and a bunch of ragamuffins like us because he was looking to get rich. Other people say the devil got into him. Again, bullshit. Judas was loyal to a fault. Obsessively loyal, even. Judas would have taken on the devil and his entire army, one against a thousand if he had to, and he would have done it with relish. Other people say Judas did what he did because he knew the ship was sinking and he was looking to get himself a, a nut to have something to fall back on. Listen. Judas was not a fall back kind of guy. He was 100% fall forward and to me that deserves some consideration. I was not fall forward, not by a long shot, and neither were most of the others. <sighs> Judas was a dick, but he deserved better. Just one saint's opinion. <laughs>